is John Boyd with the Home Buyers Agent, and today's topic is backup power systems for houses. These days, a lot of homes in higher price ranges feature some type of backup generator. This um, is particularly true of homes in the country that depend on their wells for water, and for those homes, no power also means no water. No water makes a normal uh, life a little bit more complicated. So we see a lot of homes, particularly country homes, with backup power systems. Even when a home doesn't have one installed, the subject often comes up during home inspections. And it isn't that our power is less reliable now than it has been in the past, it's just that we are more tied to that power with so many electronic devices and so many people working from home. Backup power is also much less costly than it was 10 or 20 years ago. So let's talk about backup power systems for your home. One of the very important characteristics of these systems is that the generator can never be connected directly to the line from the utility company. Um, this would endanger a lineman working on the power lines to restore power and it very likely would destroy the generator once the utility company restores power and that power is backfed into the generator. So this is a critical understanding to have about these systems. So, to get started, I like to separate home backup systems into three different categories. The first is basic, what I call generator interlock systems. And these allow you to safely and conveniently hook up a portable generator when the power is out. The second is what I call priority circuit backup systems. These systems allow you to energize a limited number of circuits in your home with a generator when the power goes out. Now these systems may be designed to switch over automatically, um, but usually they require some uh, effort from the homeowner. The third category is whole house backup systems. These systems allow you to power any circuit in your home when the power goes out, with the usual exception of three major consumers of electricity, air conditioning, uh, electric stoves, electric dryers. Those all re uh, require a real large amount of energy, and so most backup systems are not sized to run those. These whole house systems, though, usually start the generator automatically when there's a power outage, then switch over automatically to the generator power after about 60 seconds, so the power is only disturbed for a short period of time in the home. So those are the three strategies. Look at, let's look at each strategy in a bit more detail. The first, the basic interlock systems, can be very modest in cost, but they do normally take professional installation. They also allow you to use different portable generators for backup power. Portable generators usually use gasoline for fuel, and the inconvenience there is that somebody has to watch the amount of gas in the tank, and it is a bit smelly and dangerous to refuel. The minimum size for a generator for this use is normally uh, based on the power requirements of the well pump, the furnace of the home, uh, the refrigerator, freezers, that type of thing, and 7,000 watts is a typical power range for these type of systems. They usually have a single large switch that switches the home power from the utility company to the generator, or as an alternative, they may use a physical interlock that won't allow the generator to energize the home unless the utility company breaker is switched off. With these systems, it's up to the homeowner to make sure there are not too many circuits turned on at any one time, otherwise the generator may still be overloaded. And depending on the type of the electric panel that's in the house, uh, interlock system might cost as little as $250 for the interlock and another $250 to connect up the generator power inlet. And then a portable generator might cost another $1,000. Our second type of system is the priority circuit backup system. In these systems, a homeowner chooses a number of critical circuits and these circuits get powered by a generator while the other circuits in the home remain without power. Usually 10 circuits is a minimum for this type of setup. Two of those circuits are dedicated to the well pump, then one for a refrigerator, one for freezer, one for master bedroom typically, additional circuit in the kitchen, finally one in the garage. Uh, that you know leaves one or two for other uses. These systems sometimes have individual switches for each circuit, but other times they're set up as a separate breaker panel. Often these systems will be powered with a permanently installed generator that is powered by natural gas or propane, whichever fuel is available at the house. And these permanently installed generators are much more convenient than the portable gas power generators, but the fuel need may require a larger natural gas line be installed from the street, and as a result, there should be some significant engineering checks done before these permanent uh, generator installations are installed. 
Our third type of system then is what we call the whole house generator. Again, these normally won't power the big three consumers of electricity, the air conditioning, the electric dryer, electric stove, at least not all at the same time, but they are normally capable of powering everything else in a home. A typical size for these is say 20,000 watts, but we've seen them as high as 34,000 watts. These can cost well over $10,000 to have installed, and again, it is important that the natural gas line to the generator has enough capacity to power the generator during the worst case load conditions. When we buy a home with a backup system, the home inspector will usually do a basic function check, but to do a complete verification of performance is well beyond the scope of a res residential home inspection. So, hope that information has been useful. Once again, it's John Boyd with the Home Buyers Agent, and if you want to work with a real estate company that really cares about home buyers, give us a call, 734-662-6240, or visit us online at buyersagentannarbor.com.